Commitment 2014, our On the Road series features the candidates running against each other for the third time in the first congressional district. Heather Hamill joined Frank Genta as he talked with voters in Bedford. I'm good. I'm Frank Genta. I'm running for Congress again. Just wanted to stop and say hello. Hello. See if you have any questions. We joined Frank Ginta for a walk around Bedford. So what are you going to do for us? Well, what do you need me to do? The economy yeah. and ISIS. So let me start with ISIS first. Very, to me, very quick and very simple. They need to be eradicated. Um, this is a. But we're not doing enough. No, we're, we're not. not enough planes. I, they're not. They're not striking enough. We got to do more. We should have handled this almost a year ago. And ISIS wasn't the only topic Ginta was questioned about this sunny afternoon. And I'd love to talk to you about whatever issue is important to you. I'd like to be able to serve as your representative, and I want to make sure that. Health insurance. I need you to come out and vote on on uh, November 4th, and we'll do everything we can to, to help you. I hope you. so. Ginta is no stranger to campaigning, and by now there's some people who know what he's all about. I know what Frank stands. I'm all set with it. I. I'm good. Okay. Best of luck. Thank you very much. You're I appreciate it. <laughs> Enjoy your day. This voter wanted more sure. for single mothers, the poor, and homeless, but typically steers away from the Republican ticket. They don't want to vote to help the people that really need the help. Sure. Well, I think there's a lot. Uh, there's a lot that I've tried to do to help individuals and families and um, those who want to have upward mobility. And there's a lot more that we can do. But here, to me, you know, if, if you decide you want to support someone um, who is a Republican, it would be you know, someone like myself who's going to focus on those areas. Ginta even gave her his cell phone number to follow up if elected. Hope you get it. All right, well, That's thank you. All righty. Thank you very much. In Bedford, that. Heather Hamill, WMUR News 9.